This session we're going to be looking at uh, the Tools tab and what's available uh, on the Tools tab. Uh, Reinitial capture device, if for some reason the uh, connection gets loose, the uh, ultrasound gets turned off, you plug it back in, it doesn't want to start streaming to your computer, you can try and this first is to come under Tools and Reinitialize Capture Device and Load Presets and it'll go through, even though it's hooked up right now, it will go through and reset all of the uh, settings to the defaults, reinitialize the stream that we're getting here. Nice quick way to get things back up and connected when something inadvertently gets, uh, when something inadvertently happens. This Calibrate Capture device is not something that we use on any of our digital systems, which would be Exago or Exapad. That was, that's in there for older technologies like Aloka 500s or Oculus, Pi Medicals that have taken an analog stream and then run it through a digital capture device and those, each of those individual devices have to be calibrated specifically for grayscale because every one of them is different. So you have to do that on an individual basis and it's something that we recommend even when changing a cable for a sensor array, say, and making sure everything stays in the proper range as far as grayscale goes. So if you get into uh, something that you need to go back and edit something that was put into the uh, original scan session, when you click on that, we're going to get a uh, field pop up that looks like the new, uh, the new uh, scan session. And if you need to make any changes anywhere, if you want to change from English to metric or anything like that, we can, we can do that there. If we need to make some changes to a template, we can do that there as well. We can come, come in here under edit and, and add something or take something out, just depending on what your needs are. We'll just leave that alone for now and then just push OK when you're done. The last uh, thing on the list here is export, or uh, excuse me, import animal data. In some cases, uh, producers like to have data uh, preloaded into the program to make sure that it matches IDs that were used in the past. Say, if you're doing a serial scan uh, and you want to make sure, or just eliminate the need to be typing in uh, making sure the pen number is right and making sure the sex is right. It's already been put in once, so basically what you do is you'll take that data, put it into an Excel spreadsheet, save it as a CSV file. And so we can import that animal data into a uh, CSV file. And I've made just a very small animal data CSV file here that we're going to pull in. It does, this particular uh, spreadsheet does have headers on it. Also, we want it to create any new animal in the ID column and then take that data that coincides with it. So on this one, we have ID. We're going to put that there. Pen number is going to be pen number off of the CSV file sex. Uh, we'll be off of that. We don't have a weight on this one. That's what we're doing this time. You end up doing most of the time uh, when we're scanning animals is we're reweighing them. So most of the time we're not going to put that in. And then just if we go preview, then you can see that it creates the ID, in which the according pen number that goes with that animal, also the sex of the animal, but we don't have a weight on it. And that's fine. We can go import import data was successful. Now we see the list of animal IDs that are here when we start to scan. We don't have any images associated with this. We don't have any weights associated with this. So the first animal that comes in the scale, say, and no images have been captured, that's fine. Uh, we wanted to get to that next animal. Say the first animal in the scale is three. So we put in three, it turns yellow, it says there's already a three in there. That's good. We want it to have a three in there. So we'll just go down and weigh the animal. And let's just say weighs 150. And we can either click on OK or do whatever. Now all of a sudden we've got a weight in there. Now we're ready to scan the animal, scan it. Uh, go ahead and freeze that image. And if we're just collecting one image, you can capture that image or if it the animal moved a little bit you just need to back up a little bit if you're just doing say a loin and uh, 
area back back. Mm. We can capture that image, move on to the next animal. Go to the next animal, and let's just go five this time. And again, it's going to turn yellow, which is what, what we want it to do. We just got to go down to that weight and get the weight in it, 110. We can continue to do the same thing through each one. Uh, scan the animal, freeze the image. We unfreeze first, buffer uh, that progress bar along the top that's, that indicates a buffer. It's gone. Now all of a sudden we have about eight seconds worth of scanning stored. And then we'll, we can select from that if the last uh, where it froze is acceptable. We can push capture. And that's all there is to that.